Now, when it comes to our service entrance conductors and sizing of service entrance conductors, the main rule we're going to use for a dwelling unit is 31015B7. Now, keep in mind that this is based on the 17 NEC. This is going to change for the 20 code, and we'll see that in just a second. But for the 17 codes, your main requirement would be found at 31015B7. It would apply to dwelling unit services, 12240 volt or 208 to 120 volt single phase services or feeders there. For the 17 code, what you're basically looking at is doing a 83% load calculation on the impacities that you would get from the most used table in the National Electrical Code, 31015B16. And you could reduce those or, or up those, if you will, with that 83% load calculation. And you can come up with a smaller size service entrance conductor for a particular rating than what you might come up with just using your standard ampacity ratings at 31015B16. In other words, let's say we had a 200 amp rated service disconnect at a dwelling unit, which is very common. If you went to table 31015B16 and you went over, you know, you came down to like two alt or three alt in the two alt category, even in the 95 degree, in the 90 degree column, it would tell you that those 90 degree rated conductors or for a two alt copper conductor are only good for 195 amperes. But yet, if you do this 83% load calculation, it would tell you that that same two alt copper conductor is good for 200 amperes. So you, you'd be able to use two alt copper, whereas at a dwelling unit using the requirements of 31015B7, whereas if this were a laundromat or something where you had to go strictly by table 31015B16, then for that same 200 amperes, you'd ha you'd be having to use three alt copper. So you do get a little bit of a, a break, if you will, for your service entrance conductors and one feeder. You can apply these that 83% load calculation to a feeder if that feeder provides power to the entire dwelling unit. And so how could you have more than one feeder like that if it has to provide power to the entire dwelling unit before you could use the derating factors of 31015B7? Well, I would be able to size the service entrance conductors right here using 31015B7 and this 83% load calculation. Now, in this case right here, I would not be able to use 31015B7 on that feeder right there because that feeder does not provide power to the entire dwelling unit. As you can see, my air conditioner comes off of this panel board back here, and I've also got some branch circuits going out to swimming pools and outbuildings and things like that. Now, in a case like this, then yes, I can size these service entrance conductors right here and that feeder right there because that feeder panel board does provide power to the entire dwelling unit. You know, the AC is coming out of it rather than coming out of this service equipment over here. Uh, so I could even use those that 83% load calculation on that feeder right there in a case like this right here.